Hello, this is Jack Jackson. In this video, we're going to be introducing left and right Riemann sums. And this is one of the topics that's going to help us lead into the idea of what's called a definite integral. Definite integral is uh, the second of two main parts of calculus, the first being derivatives, the second being integrals. So the basic idea is we have a curve here, and we want to find the area between the curve and the x-axis over some interval. And I'm going to be using this GeoGebra applet uh, or application that I uh, wrote. This is freely available on GeoGebra's website. And it's going to be found also in a book that, uh, called a GeoGebra book that has a collection of, uh, of these little applets or activities uh, that uh, are used for doing calculus, all, including all the ones that I've written and some other ones that I thought were really good that I uh, have put in there that other educators have written. So anyway, the idea is to do this. Well, if this was a nice shape, like maybe a rectangle or a triangle, we could probably find the area without uh, having to resort to any calculus. Uh, but so, so the idea here is to try to use what we already know. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to use start with what's called a left Riemann sum. And the idea is to break this up into this region, this interval, into some subintervals. This n right here controls the uh, number of subintervals, which I can control by this slider or this entry box here. And right now it's set at 4. So I take this interval from 2 to 6, which, by the way, are controlled by these sliders, 2 and 6 here which I can control here or just by typing a number in and I want to take that and approximate that area by making little rectangles and the way the left Riemann sum is uh, way it works is you go on that interval in this case from 2 to 3 that little sub interval and you go to the left side of the interval go up to the curve and that makes the height of the rectangle. Now, we don't necessarily have to uh, divide these up into evenly spaced uh, widths, but for uh, for this method, that's what we're going to do, and for a left Riemann sum, that's what we're going to do. So notice that the widths um, are are uh, del called delta x, and they're all the same. In this case, they're all length of one. And of course, the width is of the whole thing. If this is a two and b is six, the whole length is four. Of course, we got that by doing six minus two, or in more in general, b minus a. We're divide that into n equal pieces. In this case, n is four. So each one of those um, is of length one in this case. But in general, they're in the length delta x, which is b minus a over n. And notice that as I, if I change a or b here. Or if I change, uh, let's go back to 6 just by typing in this box. Or if I change n, that's going to change uh, the width of the rectangles here, which you can see in, in this as well. So for example, if I go to 8, now they're all going to be width 1 half. I can zoom in or out uh, or move around with my mouse here. And that's the idea of a left Riemann sum. Now, if we're really trying to get this area, look what happens with that Riemann sum. Well, notice when, when the function's increasing, that left Riemann sum is going is under an underestimate because there's some that we're leaving out here. But when it's uh, the function's decreasing, the left Riemann sum goes over some. Of course, what happens is it gets better and better as we let the number of rectangles get larger and larger. Now there's no reason why we should necessarily go to the left end of the rectangle for, for the heights of the rectangles. Um, we could go to the right end. That would be a right Riemann sum that looks like this. And so notice what we have here is uh, a right Riemann sum. We're going to the right side of each one. And notice when the function is increasing, the right one goes over. 
sticks out some, but when the function is decreasing, the right Riemann sum is going to be under. So the Riemann sum is actually the number you get by adding all of these areas of these rectangles up. So notice each one has a delta x of whatever it is. In this case, it's 1 times whatever this height is, and the height are just y values or f values on the right side. And notice the whether you're doing the right or the left Riemann sum, I can show both of them here. They get closer and closer together and, and closer and closer to the actual area we're looking for if we let n get bigger and bigger. So that gives you the idea that we're trying to do some kind of a limit. And um, here are the actual definitions of this and more. Right now we're just going to focus on the left and right formulas. So what we do here is we take uh, delta x is our width times our height. Our height is an f value or y value. And we take this to be a plus k minus 1 delta x's summing from 1 to n for the left. So a plus k minus 1 delta x puts you at the left side of each interval, each subinterval. And then you do f of that gives you the height for those left Riemann sums. The right Riemann sum is the same thing, but instead of uh, doing k minus 1 right here, we do k. a plus k delta x is will put you at the beginning. a plus 1 delta x will put you at the right side of the interval. a plus 2 delta x will put you at the right side of the second interval, and so forth. So this will put you at the right side of the kth interval. Then do f of that gives you the height at that point. Multiply that by the delta x, you get the area of that rectangle. Then this sigma here signifies that we're adding up all those areas. So what we're doing is we're approximating this area with this area, okay, which is adding up all of those things. And again, that approximation gets better and better as n gets bigger and bigger, and that leads us to what we call the definite integral right here, which here I did it with the right Riemann sum. And they took the limit as n goes to infinity, and consequently, the way we've got it set up, delta x's go to zero. And that's one way to set up uh, the definition for the definite integral, which is right there. If you wanted to look at this, this also shows the values of this. We'll get to the trapezoid midpoint and Simpson's estimates in a, in a little bit later uh, video, or maybe videos. But for right now, just focus on the left, right. Riemann sums and then taking the, the limit to get that exact area, which is the definite integral. Hopefully that gives you a nice little visual that you can use. You can change the function up here. Notice you can control the A and the B. You can control the uh, number of subdivisions and you can show left and right Riemann sums plus these other ones as well and show the numbers and of course turn these things on and off as needed by clicking on these check boxes. So hopefully you can find this uh, this little application of use to you. Enjoy.